there's lots of new tools around, but it's not just about the technological innovation. It has to be about methodological innovation as well, and those two things coming together. In the case of mobile, if all we're going to do is put online research on a phone, then we're really missing the opportunity that mobile provides to immerse itself in people's lives. All of those things really now break beyond just simply market research and now you're getting into database technologies, getting into analytical tools, uh, analytical engines. Our, our sort of our landscape that, we're, that we play is just getting bigger. We in this industry always need to find new ways, better ways of doing the research, new ways and better ways of reaching out and accommodating the participants in our research to make it easy for them, to make it something that they can feel comfortable using. And so I think a lot of these new tools and techniques do provide that capability. There's nothing known as having too much tools or too many tools. Uh, uh, the number of tools are directly proportional to the maturity of the industry, to the maturity of whatever you're trying to measure. So if you were to look at the humankind when we started uh, way back in our ice ages, the kind of tools that we had then versus the kind of tools that we have now. But equally important is to ensure that we are able to use the right kind of tool for the right purpose by the right expert. And if that is missing, then I think we do really have a challenge. I think you kind of have to pick your favorite tools. and. Um... You know, it's going to depend probably on what you're trying to accomplish. You know, there were times when all I was doing were SQL queries and then copying the data into Excel and producing charts there. And, and now um, you know, I do more analytics with R or with Python. You know, it sort of depends.